The moment you've all been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to look at the lamb. Oh, look at that. Look at that, guys. Look amazing. Look, he's just spoiled. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mike, you are watching the Spud Boys TV. And today, ladies and gentlemen, I am showing you how I make a lamb roast dinner. Did you like that with the text? It's pretty good, isn't it? I know everyone loves a cooked dinner. And I love the cooked dinner just as much as the next guy. <laughs> and we thought we we're going to have a bit of lamb. Um, and I'm going to show you how I do it. I'm going to show you how I do the best roasties in the world, by the way. I'm going to show you how I cook my meat. Um, I think cooking meat is pretty, pretty easy anyway. And I'm also going to show you how I make traditional gravy. So for this vlog, I'm going to need a sous chef. There he is. You're fired. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Obviously, the first thing we need to do is cook the lamb. Um, and I'll show you, I'll show you exactly what we have. So, we have... Today we're going with a little bit of British lamb shoulder. It's going to be delicious. We got, we've got some taters. I've gone with Mars Piper potatoes from Morrison's. Because that's all I had. Uh, we have a delicious brucoli. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> And also, mate, you stick a cheese and crisps. And also, we've I gone with a stew pack because it has everything you need. It's got it's got some carrots. It's got a mouldy onion, by the looks of things. It's got a swede, and it's also got a parsnip. Parsnip. Parsnipper. But I personally don't like parsnips, so I will be cooking it because I know Amanda. Do you like parsnips, mate? I never tried one. Get out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, and then obviously. Oh, guys, just sit back, relax, and enjoy, okay? Also, guys, I forgot to say, I've gone for the very, very cheap sage and onion stuff and mix. This costs 29 pence. But, Mike, that's, that, that's going to taste shit. It is going to taste shit. But I'm putting some sausages in it. I've gone with some Yorkshire Sausage Co. Again, because they didn't really have much over there. Um, so I'm going to basically show you how I make the stuffing as well. So guys, you're gonna get gravy, you're gonna get roasters, you're gonna get meat, and you're gonna get stuffing. That's pretty good. And I'm gonna show you how to make, how I do it. And hopefully, maybe there's a couple of people out there that don't know how to do it. So that's what's gonna happen in this vlog, and it's going to be amazing. I've also got iron brew, but that's for me. So the first thing we do, guys, we get the oven on, we get it to around 150, get it around 150. Because we, we're going to cook the meat for about two to three hours, okay? Because we want to have it nice, slow cooked. But how do you do that, Michael? How do you cook meat on a slow heat? Well, I'm going to show you. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, I've gone, like I said, I've gone with a British lamb shoulder. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Give that meat a slap. <laughs> so, what we're going to do, we put a nice, generous amount of salt and pepper on this bad boy. That all I could see your hand then. You could only see my hand, can you? All I could see you was your hand then. You want to cook my hand, ladies and gentlemen? And that's it. That's all you do. And then we wrap the lamb in the foil. No, the baby. Think of it like it's a Christmas present. It doesn't matter about the juices, guys, because we're going to keep all the juices. And what happens is, the lamb is going to cook in its own juices, and it's going to keep it nice and moist. <laughs> so that's stage one. The lamb now goes in the oven for about an hour, an hour and a half. And then in an hour and a half, um, it gives you time to prep all the veg. And that's exactly what we're not going to do. <laughs> Man! Come to the veg, man. Lamb in. <laughs> so I am currently in my office uh, while the lamb cooks. We've got Logan's laptop, my laptop. Now Logan's laptop is powerful enough to to um, to edit in 4K. So I don't normally salt my water. Actually, it hasn't so been a few hours. It's been about everything one hour. for the so first thing we're gonna do. So Mike, the why the hell are you salting the water? Well, 
Delish. You need the salt. There's the spuds. You guys to make, need to make the spuds. The roast potatoes. Nice and soft. Now the trick to so, my potatoes and my spuds. Mike, how do you make roast potatoes? Well, if you don't know how to um, make roast potatoes, they, like, you, you then can pick it up and squeeze well, it and it'll I'm just crush you. I'm going to show you how to do it. We need them I very, very hate. soft, very delicate. Hate peeling that makes potatoes. the best roasty in all of the <laughs> land. land. I do. So what we do, we just throw them in there like that. And then we're going to leave that to boil. This might, might be a bit too much water in it. This one has a nipple! <laughs> yes. So, so plan, we leave that to boil, and then what we do, crack on with I make this mistake every time, eye. okay guys? I make this mistake every time. I always do too much. Um, so there's, Logan don't like the roasters, so now I'm going to do that many. Only five potatoes, which is going to be make roughly around ten roasties, which is not too bad. This is going to be really weird, guys. Look, I'm live. Say hello, everyone. Say hello to the vlog, everyone. Say hi, mate, to the vlog. <laughs> Nobody's talking. Anyway. So, we've just done the potatoes, ladies and gentlemen, so now... There you go, look, apparently I'm using a knife. David doesn't like me using a knife. Uh, da -da -da. You need someone to stand in when you leave the room. I've already left the room for a second. So what we're going to do now, we're going to cut these in half. That's a big potato, though. <laughs> so what we'll do, I'll try and do it with one hand. So I don't normally salt my water, because I use everything for the gravy so Mike why the hell are you salt in the water well you need the salt for the spuds we need to make the spuds nice and soft now the trick to my potatoes and my spuds are uh, they need to be um, very like that you, you can pick it up and squeeze it and it'll just crush in your hand we need them very very soft very delicate because that makes the best roasty in all of the land so what we're doing, we're just throwing them in there like that. And then we're going to leave that to boil. There might, there might be a bit too much water in there, to be honest. Yes. So plan, we leave that to boil. And then we're going to crack on with the broccoli. So this, ladies and gentlemen, I believe is the best vegetable ever created by, by man. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I just think with broccoli, it gives me... Um, healing properties. If I'm ill or I got a, or if I'm not feeling very good, I'll eat broccoli and I will feel very, very much better. <laughs> very much better. Um, but I will feel better after I've had some broccoli. So yes. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> get out, you! You're fired. <laughs> right. So now we are going to do the Swede. Ah, I got sweet stuck in my tooth. So now we're gonna dice some swede, ladies and gentlemen. Now swede is amazing because it makes the best. My cutting skills are very shit, and I know you're all gonna be judging me, Mike. What the hell are you doing? You can't have half of the sweet. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. There you go. The Swede is done! <laughs> there you go! The Swede is complete! <laughs> Swede's the worst thing in the world to peel. I hate peeling Swede. I hate peeling potatoes. When am I going to stick all this? I need a food bin. So there's only one way to peel a carrot, guys. With a knife. You cut away half of the carrot. But it's easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. And it does the trick. Voila! <laughs> now you like Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> a lot of it ended up on the floor. So on the whole carrot, guys, that's all I got left of it. <laughs> I don't know where it's gone. It's gone. A so, ladies and gentlemen, the the roasters seem very soft, and you can stab them quite easily. So. I think they're almost done. So what we're going to do now? We uh, I've lost my um I've lost uh, my tray. I've put it in your know. nerve. So what we're going to do now because the roasties for some reason take longer than the meat. Whew. But um what we'll do? Here's a pan I prepared earlier. 
We're going to put some beef dripping in there. And then we're going to put our delicious roasties. Well, they're not roasted yet, so they're just potato. And then hopefully they're going to make delicious, amazing, incredible roasties. And that's how I make roasties. And they are going to be bloody, bloody delicious. And Leanne, you're going to be very jealous of my roasties. <laughs> so I've just added some beef dripping, which is going to be the roasty juice. But I don't even know what beef dripping is. There's just fat in it. I've always thought that beef dripping tastes like beef. Shall we give it a go? Shall we give it a whirl? <laughs> oh, fucking hell. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. It just tastes like lard. <laughs> it, hasn't, it hasn't got a taste. Right then, so the roasties are done, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to put, tip the juice out of the water. Now, we, we don't need this water anymore. So we will gently just get rid of it. Okay. So now as that's cooking there, I'm going to tip my swede in there. And then the carrots then go on there. See, multitasking, guys, on the stream, I'm multitasking. <laughs> don't know if you guys can see that, but I did burn myself. I don't know if it's, uh, it's stinging a little bit. Can you see it? See the line where I burnt myself? It's, uh, it's got a weird sting to it, but probably the steam is uh, irritating it. Right, carrots are on. I'm going to do my sweet. Right, turn the broccoli down because I need to keep some of that juice. Okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> I need some alcohol. <laughs> Cheers, guys. That is bloody a delish. Right. So we've got the sweet going on in there. We've got the broccoli. That's ready for my carrots. Potatoes are about to go in. And this is just a mess. I've got to cut some more carrots. Then we've got to start make the stuff in. I'm going to check the meat. Oh my God, there's loads to do. This is stressful. So now the pan should be piping hot and it's not going to burn us this time because I'm prepared with health and safety. Apparently, beef dripping is just fat of beef. But it doesn't smell of anything. I know sometimes when you cook beef, it smells amazing. Right, we're going to check our lamb in a minute. So now, the potatoes, the trick is to make them cold. <laughs> That's my trick anyway, that's what I do. I normally, what I'll do, I'll, normally what I should have done, I should normally stick cold water in the pan and let them run that way. That's the trick, you get them nice and hot, and as you can see, like if the water hits them, they'll fall apart. And that's exactly what you want from a roasty. And then we'll place that very nicely. And there we go. And then we'll let nature do its thing. Oh, look at that. Delish. Put that in it. Oh, that smells lush. <sighs> so what I'm going to do now, I need to get the juices out. And, because that's going to be for the gravy. I'll show you the lamb now, guys. It's hard to do this. Well, there's not much juice there, to be honest. Mmm! Yeah. Mmm! Come on. Parsnips! You don't wrap the foil around the lamb, just stick it over there. Until we're ready to roast it up later. Bada bing, bada boom. Move that out the way. So guys, I'm now about to make the stuffing. I've gone with the shittest stuffing on all of the land. This costs 29 pence. But it doesn't matter about this. Actually, I don't think there's enough. I don't think there's enough in there for all of us. <laughs> Oh my god, what a disaster. I thought we'd be more now. Anyway. I'm making basically a Christmas dinner again. So you get a little bit of butter. A little bit of butter. <laughs> so 
so that's ready to go. Oh, they just fall apart. All oh, right, okay. I don't think there's any. There's no skin on them. Oh, nice. It's unusual. Normally, there's skin on these, and I, I get the sausage meat out of the skin. Yeah, so normally there's like sausage meat, uh, there's skin on the sausage. But there don't seem to be any. So we mix all that in with that stuff in. And this creates like a like a meatloaf kind of thing. One more. Nice. And then you add more sticky. <laughs> Magic mic. Now my camera's still rolling, by the way. This is very delicately put into the recycling. <laughs> and bung it in the oven. Not too much water, because in this case I didn't get enough stuff in mix. So then we just mash it all together, and this makes the best, the best stuffing in all of the land, ladies and gentlemen. I think that looks like a piece of art! Myself! Let's try spit poison it. And this then goes in the oven, which is really hot. Ready to cook and be served. So I believe the meat is cooked. Let us have a quick little look. I've got my little my little bowl prepared here. So basically I'm gonna put whoa. <coughs> I'm gonna put the meat in here, so like afterwards, after I've dished it out, I'll have like a sauce so I can tip off the juice. Delish! <laughs> uh, right, okay. Now let's look. Let us check the meat. Oh, very nice! <laughs> right, let's have a little look at this. Put that in there. Let's show the stream, because I'm currently streaming, guys. You've probably already seen this. Here you go, guys. The meat. Look. Look, guys, it's the meat. Well, the meat turned out pretty sweet. Look at that. It's succulent and delicious. And I can't wait to eat it. So what I'm going to do now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to cut this up and I'm going to stick the meat in here. Like I said, so it captures all the juices at the bottom so I can use it for the gravy. Um, they're basically all done. I'm just waiting on the roasters, really. Roasters and the stuffing. And when that's done, we shall feast. So, ladies and gentlemen, quick update. Broccoli is done. Carrots are done. Swedes done. Amanda's, mine, Logan's. Ready to go. Just waiting on the roasties and the stuffing. I think the stuffing's done. Oh, God. What have I done to my camera? <laughs> I steamed up my bloody camera lens. Everything else is done. We're going to make the Swede mash now, guys, which is, a, again, another staple of... My cooked dinner. Oh, look at this. Look at this. This is sausage stuffing. What spud are we going to give you guys? Hmm. Oh. Oh. Oh, nice. Gold bud! Golden spud! <laughs> Amanda's stuffing. My stuffing. Logan's stuffing. <laughs> but that stuffing is 100% a platinum. Thank you, Carl. <laughs> Here, we're going to throw a little bit of butter, a little bit of salt and pepper, and then we're going to mash it to death. Hold the camera for me and point it into the thing. Into there. So now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to throw in some butter. And then, no, hold it properly, mate. You're not watching what you're doing. I'll fire you in a minute. A bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and then we mash it all together and make the, the most delicious Swede mashed potato. Swede! Swede. Well, you do, watch where you're filming, mate. I take it back. I do need a cameraman, guys, if anyone wants to be my cameraman. You're a crap cameraman, you're not even filming what I'm doing. Not See, now this is the kind of stuff that don't make the final vlog. Because you're filming the floor there, mate. 
I'm filming this cat. Right, you can be my taste tester then. Boxy boobs. Right, be the taste tester. Ready? Oh, what happened? What happened? What's going on? What did you do? I put the light on. Oh, we need a light. Sorry guys, I'm a bit of a technical difficulty. Logan, Logan, go find a light, mate. How do you expect me to do Can you go get your phone or something? Yeah. So we're back in the room, guys. I don't know what happened. Then we had a power cut or something. So so far we've got the sweet potato, we've got the uh, the, the stuff in. Matt, that's mine because I've got the most. And yeah, okay. So I'm gonna do the broccoli, and hopefully the roasties are done. The oven did go off. Ugh. Roasties are looking amazing, by the way, guys. So this is the the remains of the juice. That's the the broccoli water and a little bit of carrot water. That's where I'm gonna make the gravy. And these, this is the the food so far. We're gonna put the broccoli on there. So yeah. So so far, guys, the food looks bloody delicious. Wouldn't you agree? Give me a like and a thumbs up. Look at them. Oh man. They are top quality. They're platinum. Guys, chat. They're a platinum spud before I even try them. I'll show you now. Look at that. Alright, let's try and break one up and try it. If you're thinking, what are they, Mike? They're not mash. They're not roasties. No, they're not. They're Aunt Bessie Yorkshire puddings. You just pop by, she didn't give me some. I can't even break into this. Oh, look at that, guys. That's my my roasty. Look at that roasty. Mmm. Platinum. Platinum spud. <laughs> it's a platinum spud spud. So now this is the grand finale, guys. You can have the best roasties. You can have the best stuffing. You can have the best broccoli. The best meat in all of the land. But it all comes down to the gravy. If you don't have the good gravy, look. Then it's going to be scheisen, as the Germans would say. So we're going to make some proper homemade gravy. And then we get all... That was from the lamb, that was all this. It's gone harder, that was fat from the lamb. Now this recipe, I'm not using any Bisto. Because there's enough salt and enough stock. I might have to use a bit of Bisto actually, I don't think there's enough in there. And then, the trick is to whisk it. It's not all made with Bisto, you failed. I haven't put Bisto in here! I am Kyle, I am the best in it, mate. <laughs> Take it off the heat. And now you've got to try and make a paste with the flour. That might be a bit too, that might have been a little bit too much to be honest, but and then we whisk. We end up with something like that. Look. It's like a dough. See, it's like a dough. And then, just add your juice. A little bit at a time. Don't add, don't add too much, otherwise you won't be able to control it. And hopefully that would stop any kind of lumps going into it. I got a lamb oxos, yeah, but I don't think I need it yet. So it's tinned to a paste look. This is the best gravy. Any of you guys who make your own gravy, be like, yeah, Mike, we agree. Thing is, I need more juice. Mm. It's always best to use juice though because it gives the uh, the gravy a little bit of flavour. Wouldn't you agree, everybody? Then I get a bit hot, and then it'll it'll break away or whatever. Who's talking? Anyone saying anything? Oxo. Honest, I'm not so sure about this. It looks like lasagna white sauce. But we've always, we've always got this though. If all else fails. Taste test. Taste test. Yeah, that's horrible. So I've added an OXO cube. And I've got to add some hot water. It's a bit thin. I'll put some brown in there because it's still a little bit white. 
and then we'll taste it. We're gonna throw some hot water in it now. Because we want loads of gravy, because everybody likes gravy. So ladies and gentlemen, the end result of the gravy. I did cheat a little bit because it was very watery and it was very thick. I know you guys are going to shout at me, but I put a little bit of this in there, okay? It's best lamb gravy. So yeah, so now I'm going to pour this delicious gravy liquid upon my dinners. And I'll just show you what the remainder of the dinners. So you've got uh, Amanda's, you've got mine, and you've got Logan's there. Uh, they, do need, they do need to go in the microwave just to warm up because they've been sat there for about an hour. <laughs> So yeah, so that is the end of the vlog, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I showed you how to make roasties. I showed you how to make stuffing. And I showed you kind of how to make <laughs> gravy. So um, I don't want to film myself eating it in front of you. Because um, you know it's going to be a platinum spud. Every time I cook, guys, I'll give myself a platinum. Even if it's shit. Because the effort and the passion and the love I put into making a vlog for you awesome sex people. I was going to say sexual then. <laughs> for you awesome sexual people. <laughs> Right, guys, thank you very much for stopping by, and I will catch you all on the flip side. Anyone have any 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 um, suggestions how to cook, anything you want me to see cooking, let me know in the comments, guys, and I will. I'll give it a attempt, um, and I'll attempt to cook it without recipes. You just tell me something, that'll be the fun fun idea. You tell me something, but why not i got a rough idea, like a Swiss roll or, a, or um, an apple crumble or something like that. I will go out and I'll buy ingredients, which I think goes in that, okay? Right then, I'll catch you all on the flip side. You all take care, and I see you later, mate. <laughs>